I'm going to meet with Ruben Uriarte, MUFON's Northern California State Director. He has been researching the history of UFOs in this area and has developed one of the most comprehensive databases available. We're going to get the really big picture of flying triangles, what they are and who's flying them. We've been getting so many reports of, of sightings, um, an increased spike of triangles especially. We consider it like an intersection to what we call Triangle Alley, which is from Southern California all the way up to the Washington border. Nevada's right next door. We have Area 51, which is approximately 260 miles away. Tonopal Air Force Base, another black budget base possibly 200 miles away. So the Nevada test site is only about 250 miles away. That's like the blink of an eye for some of the multiple Mark supersonic aircraft we have. In Triangle Alley, there have been over 60 reported sightings of Triangle UFOs only since the year 2000. This is a huge number of sightings for such a sparsely populated region. Imagine the number of sightings that have gone unreported. Here's a triangle now. This is 1986, Bill. This is before they released the B-2 bomber. Obviously, the characteristics are a lot different. They're huge. Uh, this thing went right over a freeway, four lanes in width. So where was this? Where this was this, this is a further north up here near Corning. What's really interesting is this thing was just hovering. And the witnesses actually observed in detail, as you can see, uh, over half an hour. This craft in Corning is similar to hundreds of other videos we've seen right here in Triangle Alley. It's three lights, three lights that may look separate, but they're in this rigid configuration with each other. They hover silently in the sky. Then they shoot off at tremendous speeds. We've got to find out what is the link among all these different craft. This reminds me of Phoenix. Yes. I, they're all the same characteristics that we keep hearing about. You know, they're large, they're silent. They make no sound whatsoever. Lights around the perimeter. The lights illuminated the object. Major light in the center. Mm -hmm. Lit up as bright as day. When you compare planes to this, when you compare helicopters to this, they look, they behave entirely differently. How long have these been going on? It goes back probably in the, the great airship sightings back in 1896, 1897 from San Francisco to Sacramento, all the way to Stockton, around the general vicinity. There was reports from miners that were working and seeing strange objects, strange stars. 